So my name is Dave Nowicki and I'm the general manager of Alcatel Lucent Ventures, in particular the mobile smart loading venture. And mobile smart loading is really one of the latest uh, timely and innovative uh, innovations from Bell Labs and also Alcatel Lucent Ventures. And it really comes into play in terms of being part of our high leverage network strategy where we're adapting in real time to changes in user behavior. So what we're doing is we're sensing quiet times in the network. Quiet times are also times of rich capacity. Right? And these quiet times are great times to do downloads and great times to do uploads. And the idea is that if you're doing downloading and uploading data, you don't have to stream everything ever anymore, right? And so what you can do is, once you have the information downloaded onto your device, whether it's a smartphone or whether it's a tablet, you can take that and you can have an instantaneous feedback, right? In addition to that, for operators, this means they can double the capacity of their network potentially because you can move all this traffic from peak time to off-peak time. And in addition to that, you can lower the cost per bit. It also has uh, a way of getting into pricing plans and so forth and ending headaches with usage caps. Imagine today we have caps around, let's say, 500 megabytes for a data pack. Well, that doesn't mean you can do a whole lot of video, for example, or a whole lot of large files. So what we're doing with that 500 megabytes, for example, is we can add to it the concept of unlimited smart loaded data, right? This is the idea that data that you would tag to be downloaded or uploaded would get transferred at a time in the network of excess capacity or like Wi-Fi, Femto, small cells as well. And that doesn't have any additional marginal cost for the operator, but it has a huge benefit for the end user. So it's absolutely just a situation where you put software into an existing network and it's a client server architecture and you're just getting a lot more out of that existing network. Um, so you're not having to deploy any new hardware, do any big forklift upgrades. You're taking a 3G network and getting twice the capacity. So I can show you in the demonstration, in fact, what it does is we'll be connected to Wi-Fi and we'll leave the home, for example, and it'll pause the, tr the transfer and then it'll just resume on 3G or resume on 4G, right, automatically. So it's the pause and resume mechanism that works really well. Um, in addition to that, if the 3G network becomes congested and the bandwidth goes down, it senses that and then it'll look for another network. It'll look for a femtocell, it'll look for Wi-Fi, and it'll make sure that we don't have a situation of a congested network. Basically what this is, um, is something that the operator would sell to the end user. It's branded Alcatel Lucent right now, but typically it would be branded by the operator. So here we have operator zone content. So this is operator content together with partner content. And then we have over the top content like YouTube. So for example, I can click here on the operator content and I have selection of different content that the operator may provide or a partner may provide. And so what I can do is I can go into this particular item and if I click on this, I get a choice of playing it now, streaming it, or I get a choice of smart downloading it, or I get a choice of sharing it with my friends through Facebook, okay? So if I go here and I hit smart download, the download has started already, okay? And I'm gonna go now into the download section, which is right here, and you can see that uh, the download is, is about to start, okay? And it's right now waiting, and it's measuring the, the uh, connection speed. And you can see now that it started the download, and it's actually connected to Wi-Fi right now, okay? And what I can show you is the ability to switch between networks, okay? So I can show you how I can click on Wi-Fi right here. So what I've effectively done is I'm turning off Wi-Fi, okay? And then it'll automatically move over to 3G. And the download will go ahead and restart. Now, it also has the mechanism to sense the control. So we have a way of congesting the network. So if I were to congest the network automatically, what would happen is uh, the congestion would get down to a certain level. You set a policy, let's say it's 250 kilobits per second or so, and the download would also stop in that situation as well. And then when the congestion came back, uh, in terms of when it freed up, uh, at that particular uh, time, the download would resume. And uh, we ensure that downloads occur only at times when there's sufficient level of capacity in the network. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you is the way that you can actually manage the traffic 
Remember when you had 500 megabytes before on your usage cap? Well, that now turns into anytime peak data. So here's your 500 megabytes of anytime peak data, but in addition to that, you have unlimited smart loaded data. And that could be in the form of 3G, Wi Fi, or it can be also in the form of the Femto. Okay, so there's different ways that you can actually manage your connection. So it's much simpler for the end user because they don't have to worry about the usage cap anymore. The fact is that the smart loaded unlimited data means that they can go ahead and download as many files as they want. They can also upload as many files as they'd like.